Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm opening a case of Maximum Gold. So I'm just going to dive right into these and hopefully we'll pull something good. So that is uh, them all out of the boxes. I'm looking forward to opening these. There isn't really much I really need out of this set. So this set, I would say, if you've bought it, like you've been playing the game like constantly like, for the last two, maybe three years, the stuff in here you don't really need. Um, but if you're just getting back into the game, this is a really good product to actually get back into. Um, because you get a lot of good staples like arm traps and stuff like that. But for real value and stuff, um, I wouldn't really say this is a brilliant set to pick up to invest in. Um, maybe in the future if you hold a couple of boxes or something sealed, maybe we'll have something in the future, but uh, I don't think currently it's a good product to invest in unless you're buying singles. But let's dive into this and see what my looks like. So I'm just going to readjust the camera. So hopefully that seemed a wee bit flawless. So let's start with the first box anyway. So the things that I'm really looking for the set is the anti-magic arrows or anti-spell arrows. Um, the Alistair alternative art would be nice. Maybe the Apollos as well. I've not really seen many people pull the Apollos or Stratos. Um, Stratos I haven't really actually seen MD pull it. So we might be the first ones or uh, if there is someone else then do let me know because I'll enjoy watching the box opening. So the first one is Foolish Burial. Um, I quite like the the gold foiling. Um, I don't really know what I actually call it because I would say gold rare because obviously it's just a rare. But maybe just gold lettering might be the name for it. Storm and Mirror Force. Lost World. I must say I do like the gold like foiling. I think it pops a lot more than the silver does or did. Um, but I think that might be just because it's a a tonal difference that makes it stand out a wee bit more. Miracle Contact and we have Solemn Judgment. I do really like the foiling. Um, near the end I'll show you, um, actually I'll just show, do this now after this one. So Solemn Judgment and Tour Guide. Actually, I actually quite like Tour to Guide. Um, these cards, I'll probably just say the fillers just now. Um, right, so I have the new Beatrice, Lady of the Interno. So this is probably going to be one of the most, like, more sought after ones and stuff. And here is the original Goldwell. So I don't know if you can actually see on the camera. So the normal one is like just flat. It's quite like it's just like a shiny, flat common. Um, is the best way to describe it. But now, like the foiling on it, it's more brushed. And it's like uh, it pops out a wee bit better. So I would describe it a bit like an ulti, but a flatter, smoother version. So like more brushed finish. It's really nice. So let's get back into the packs. I think it's more rare cards I want. Um, I want reincarnations because I want to do another uh, a trick style deck profile, and I just didn't. See the point in forking out the money for reincarnations when they were just a wee bit pricey for what they do. Preparation of rights, this was actually a card that I needed for Nephesis trade in. And there we go, we've got the first one that I really need is anti magic arrows. So, out of this set, I'm, I am hoping to probably pull the Stratos alternative art, the what's it called? Golden Lord and Impermanences because they're the ones that will probably make money back on so hopefully we do pull them so please bless these pulls. Yes! Just talking about them, the Elemental Hero Stratos Alternative Art. I don't know what the price is for him currently so I'm actually really looking forward to seeing what it will be worth and hopefully I do get a good wee bit from him. 
I know some that will definitely be after this. Um, actually, I know a couple of people that will definitely be after it. So, really happy with that one. So, I'll just leave that up right now. Actually, I'm going to sleeve up the Anti Magic Arrows because that's the one I want. And let's go. Pack number three. So, oh, off to a not bad start. Not too many fillers. Medulci Knights, Medulci Chateau. A uh, speed droid red eye dice barrier statue of the heavens probably one of the worst barrier statues for the simple fact is lots of people play lights dark barrier statue the exact same principle it's yeah if you play, lots of people play darks lots of people play lights it's either one of these or the probably the worst ones and then we've got house dragon maid so i really like this set for having the dragon maids reprinted I think that is that's probably the chase core can I say but it's one of, one of those ones that it is kind of cheap other than kitchen and nurse were the ones that ha held a good price um uh, I would have liked to have seen chamber reprinted in this as well but I think that's just a wee bit too soon for a reprint for that card so yep we've got house and we've got kitchen so kitchen is one that I want to try and get um, I will try and source some chambers as well and hopefully get a dragon maid profile for you. And last pack on box number one. So we've got Trap Tricks Mantis. I really like the fact that they've gave the Trap Tricks monsters um, a reprint. Now this is number C107 Neo Galaxy Eyes Tachyon Dragon. Lose one turn, it's a really good trap card. Call by the grave. Don't know why it's in here. Um it's it's a one of but I guess having more reprints is always good. Totally awesome, a fantastic reprint and one that's been needed for years and years. Harpy's feather duster. Really good card to pull. Um, especially now it's at one. Uh, and foilings actually really nice. I love the fact. I don't know if you can see it in camera. Actually, you can't see it on camera. I apologise. Uh, I'm too busy trying to see it myself. Uh, Harpy's feather duster. I love the foiling that's on this. Like the rimming. Well, no rimming. Maybe that's not the best word. Um, but edging, edging. That's the word I meant. I meant edging. <laughs> Right, okay. If I forget to edit that out, then please let me know in the comments. <laughs> um, Happy Spell of Duster. Hi, right, we'll move on with that. And Herald of Arclight. Actually, really nice, sweet, ready to bump. I like that. Uh, box number two. We have Storm and Miracles. Pri uh, the Prime Monarch. Silent Angler, that was actually getting kind of pricey, um, it was a, uh, I think it was Dusa that was there, and that angle only had one print, so it's quite good to have another terraforming. Tachyon Dries Transmigration, and Ghost Bell and Haunted Mansion, the alternative art. So, quite nice. Um, I've got the, the camera set up so odd, like weird, it, it's just thrown me off. And then we've got another hand trap in Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit. It's actually really nice. I had I have these in Alties. And it is really nice. I think I'm just trying to look at these more myself than actually get them on camera. So I'm gonna readjust the camera just now. Wait. Right, aim for the middle. Right, so hopefully that works out a wee bit better for you. Um, and you can actually see the cards this time, so I do apologise. Um, I don't know how long I was too busy to learn them myself. So, Noble Knight, Ichtar, uh, Brotherhood of the Fire Fist, Coyote, uh, Mecha Phantom Beast, a Blue Impala. Oh, Commandant Witch. I, I didn't actually know she was in the set. That's actually a really good reprint. She was getting kind of pricey. I think she was like sitting at £5 a copy. And I can remember her being like 20 pence and stuff like that. So, 
think a good wee refront, especially for her being able to search out um, droplets. Reinforcement of the army, this is actually quite a nice refront. <clears throat> uh, if you don't actually know, uh, they're bringing out the speed shield booster box thing. Um, it's got like Yugi's star deck and stuff like that. And this actually comes in secret well. So I'm going to try and pick up a, maybe a box or two, depending on the price, because um, for what it is, uh, this coming in secret rail, and I think it definitely will look amazing in secret rail. I don't actually know if it's previously had a secret rail foiling, so I'm looking forward to actually seeing it in real life. And miscellaneous saurus, a lot of people are after this. This is the first hollow print for miscellaneous saurus, so I'm really excited to see this, and it really does look nice. I'm trying, there we go. You can see the edge on it right there. Really, really nice. I'm going to sleeve this one up. So I'm just going to actually divide the other solid gold ones. There we go. <clears throat> so two more packs from box number two. Actually, been not too bad. Um, I don't think we've got a lot of value other than Stratos. So, Foolish Burial Goods, if you didn't already have the 18th reprint of this card. Uh, Synchron Carrier. The Mon of the True Monarchs. Sacred Swords of Seven Stars. This hadn't been reprinted in like, a good while, and it, I think it's quite a good card um, for any level 7 deck. I used to play in Dark Magicians, but I think it's definitely been power crept out. Mind Control. Always a good staple card to have. Another filler card in Constella Pallades. I think this came in gold, the old gold drill. But it's a good card. It's one that I like. It was getting played in Outreach for a wee while. Um, I think when Outreach first came out. So maybe that's why it merited a, a reprint in Konami's eyes. So not the worst, not the best in Cosmo Town. Um, it's actually cool. I don't know if he's going to actually see. So there's actually some factory damage on it. It's like, I don't know, it's like stab marks on it. Um, where's the lens? Just on the name, like just round about here. Don't know if you'll be able to see it. It might just be too, too, too small a detail for the camera to actually pick up. Um, not very keen on the Cosmo cards being like the solid gold ones, but it is what it is. Uh, Make a Phantom Beast, Jack of Slan, uh, Medulture Knights, Gigantis X, this is how he's had a reprint in the age. He's, I think it's common in a super. Um, Grapher, White Print. I know uh, Zephyr of War Games has been trying to build his Skull Servant deck, so if you need it, mate, you know what it is. Ash Blossom, right, I haven't actually seen empty pull on Ash Blossom. Um, I think Team Sam did, but I'm not too sure. Didn't pay much attention. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to get the light to catch one on for you. Yeah, really nice. And then we've got a Forbidden Chalice. Uh, would have preferred it to be an impermanence, but I guess it's close enough. So we'll just sleeve up the Ash Blossom because she might be a wee, a wee price. Now, pack number three. Number C1, Silent Honor Dark. Dark Lord, The Morning Star. Dark Lord, Contact. Unexpected Die. Scrap Recycler. Um, this did get a reprint in the, the Mechna structure deck. So it's quite good to actually have the a wee, wee tiny ready to bump. And we've got Lancia, Artifact Lancia. Lancia looks really good as gold drill. Um, it really stands out especially because of obviously his lance. Um, it does really, really pop, but I do like it. I'll probably stick to the secret rails because I just think secret rail is the best foiling. And I wish Konami would do an all secret rail foiling set, I think it would be brilliant. I'd probably actually think it'd merit the price of what the gold set actually costs um, if it was all secret, but 
and maybe one for the, fu for the future. So Lancia and Stardust Charge Warrior. Uh, another follow. <clears throat> I do think, like, I, I don't mean it in a bad way, because um, lots of people could probably definitely want them. But in my eyes, like, if you're paying £25 for four packs, you don't, you want to try and make at least, <clears throat> say, I don't know, like 80% of the money that you invested in it. And no way, like, pulling cards like that is going to get you anywhere close. So, uh, the first Monarch, mistaken accusant. I can really see because of the light and the foiling, so actually I'm off camera again. Uh, Dark Lord Ixchel, White Stone of Ancients, Lost World, Alistair the Invoker, right. So this was a uh, alternative art that I really wanted to see in person. Shout outs to Dark Paladin 19, I know AJ would really want these, so definitely. Yeah, definitely, super happy I pulled that. And we've got Dark Destroyer. Let's leave that one up. Really like that. That all works like super cool. Still think I'll stick to the secrets. That's that's the thing. Like I look at all these and go, I really like the foiling. I think they look good. The art looks good and whatever. But I just really like secret though. So foolish burial, <clears throat> master of blades. Number 15 gimmick puppet giant grinder. Jeez, oh man, this this channel's taking a turn today. Uh, hey, Trinid, another terraforming. And Intis. <coughs> Needed a reprint, it was getting a bit pricey. Um, and there was no, there was less uh, of them going about, um, especially for people who want to pick up Dogmatica or counter Dogmatica. So it definitely helps out a, a certain clientele having the intices out. So, not too bad. And yes, we got Outlage the Golden Lord. <clears throat> so currently, um, at the recording of this video, he's sitting at about £28. So, I paid for basically one box. So, that's fine with me, happy with that. Really like Golden Lord. It does, I don't know. It's only that, right, so I'll take it back out and show you. It's only like round his cape and stuff. I don't know. Yeah. And his hands, uh, see if it was like round his body that was etched as well. I think that I would just absolutely be dynamite. Like, not even the cape needed. To, it was, see if it was just the outline of his body that was etched. I think it'd be so much better. So we have Buster Blader, uh, Malerio, Aerial, got Tikaboo, Flame Buffalo, and Lady Debug. She definitely needed a reprint, so that's really good. And we'll pull Nibiru. So Nibiru is definitely, he definitely pops. I love the, the wee tiny fragments coming off him, being etched as well, so that's really nice. And we've got another Harpy's Feather Duster, so I'm going to sleeve up the Nibiru. Right, so on to box number four. So I want another Golden Lord, um, maybe an impermanence. Sorry for hitting the camera. Uh, Copswell, uh, Copwing, so this only came as a rare previously. Um, or it was a common. I think I'm positive it was a rare. So that's good to actually get a reprint. Tachyon Dragon. Hidden Temples of the Necro Valley. Shout outs to the Gravekeeper players. Uh, Nightbeam. Scrap of Cyclo. Another Miscellaneous Saurus. So we're really happy with that. I really need to get this fucking. I need to keep on aiming for this, but I can't see. Uh, so yep, another good one, and we've got Paula Dragon Maid, so that's the first copy of her that we've got. Yeah, I sleeved up the last Miscellaneous Saurus. So can we get a place at a Miscellaneous Saurus? Now, next pack. So number 87, Queen of the Night. I've actually never seen this card, so 
three level eight plants. Don't know. Maybe it'll fit and recall something. I'll do it. No, no, too sure. But shout outs to Akima TCG and Gala Clockro. Oh, I can never f fucking pronounce that first name. But I'm up planning on trying to give these a Blackwing deck profile, so hopefully that'll be coming soon. I did actually need them. So I, the only copy that I had was absolutely muntled. So if you don't know what that means, it just means it's absolute trashed. So I'm um, really happy to actually pull that. So DDD Warrior Lady, so back in 2006 we are. Sacred Swords, tune in. Dark Magician, so that's me actually got a second copy of him. So quite happy to pull him. I really wanted to pull Blue Eyes and Red Eyes because um, my mate Sean is desperate for the Red Eyes. And I know, my, I know for a fact my mate Gary will be desperate for the Blue Eyes. So hopefully we'll see that soon. And yeah, yeah. See, that's the kind of cards that annoy me because there is no need to actually have this card printed. Like, what generally is the point in having this? You could have put the XYZ in. Um, ah, I'm just not too sure about it. I don't know why it'd get reprinted in such a high rarity for a vanilla. Do you know what I mean? Uh, Mecha Phantom Beast Draco Sack, so another good reprint for that. Um, Noble Knights of the Round Table. I don't even think that really gets played. Mage Power. Um, Barrier Statue. Got a deck profile that I want to show you with this card in it. So I'm really good. I'm really happy that I pulled this as a rare. Dimension Prison. This could have been Deep Barrier. Like, generally, like, why could it not have been? That's. I, as you could probably tell if you're watching the video, I have a lot of qualms, a quorums uh, about this this full set. Blue eyes, yes. So this one's for you, Gary Aru. So we're really happy I pulled that. Can we get a red eyes? No, we get a herald arc light. So this is it. Can we pull a blue eyes, a dark magician, and a red eyes? Can we get the full set? So let's see, we've got Union Scramble, Starlight Junction, another card that I don't see the point in playing. Uh, Noble Knights Brothers, that's quite a good reprint, it's, I think it's only had two, one is a common and one is a slight hollow. Uh, Harpy's Pet Phantasmal Dragon, I don't even know what the fuck that is. Robot Galaxy Destroyer, can I see the first one with the foil it's just too close. And we've got another Golden Lord, yes! That's us, we've got both of the Golden Lords. Uh, I can't see Golden Lord getting played at three. I think he's just perfect at two. Um, so yeah, really happy with that. And we've got a Boros Sword Dragon. Right, now, my mate Chris actually pulled this earlier on. And it is fucking phenomenal looking. Um, the etching isn't actually on the picture, it's a round. Hopefully this is in focus and uh, you can actually see this. I really apologise if it's terrible quality and stuff, it's just... But the etching is around the link arrows, which is super nice and super clean. Actually it does have etching around, it just the slightest, like generally the slightest, it's like a boulder. But it's not raised like, the le uh, like a couple of the others, so... Yeah, really do like that, so I'll sleep with the paper then what? So yeah, I'm actually really fucking happy with the box so far. Um, I would love to pull probably another Golden Lord. Um, maybe a, a Red Eyes, that's it. I'm going for it. I want us to pull a Red Eyes. That is, if we can get a Red Eyes, this case has been absolutely phenomenal. Um, but... If no, another Stratos would be nice and another Golden Lord would be nice. Um, but personally, I want Magic Arrows, but that is a filler card and it's probably only worth about £3. So we have Utopia Beyond. I've seen a couple of people like online stuff when I've been doing lots of testing um, playing this in Virtual Worlds. So I might have a look and might fiddle about with that deck as well. Uh, Neo Galaxy Tachyon, Silent Honor Rock. Hey Trinid. I didn't actually know Cyber Dragon Call was in this. That's actually quite a decent reprint. It came in common um, and super, I think it was. 
thing that was, but nice wee reprint. And we've got Laundry Maid, so this is the first one of that we've got. And Droll and Lockbird, so that's two copies of Droll and Lockbird that I actually have. So, yeah, that work, I think that's really, really nice. And let's go. We have. There we go. Seven more packs to go. So we've got Mantis. Dristan, Machine Dup, Barrier Statue of the Drought, so the Elf one. Another one Barrier Statue. Red Eyes, yes! That's it. We have completed the set. The fucking, the band is back together and we've got, oh, fuck that. Right, we have got this. The, the three of them are together. This is what I wanted. I haven't actually seen anyone pull the three of them together. So I'm really happy to actually get all three of them, so yeah. Case has been quite good. One more Golden Lord I'd be really happy with, and Impermanence I'd be happy with. Um, I'd actually like to see the alternative art of... What's his name? Phantasme. So we've got Donneria, or Diarrhea. We've got Turbus of the Forbidden Realms. Um, Hidden Temples in the Necker Valley, super good card. We've got Dark Lord Rebellion, Set Rotation, and Parlor Dragon Maid, and Monster Reborn. Monster Reborn's quite nice. Yeah, can grumble. I'm just going to move this pop filter thing out of the way. It's really doing nothing. Right, let's go. Uh, Drown the Mirror Force, Utopia Beyond, Scrap Recycler, so that's the play set of that. Um, Layer of Darkness, Coach Soldier Wolfpack, so I've only ever seen this played in, uh, what are they called, Fire Fists, so shout out to Christopher Vaughn, the Liverpool fan, so this card's for you buddy. Impermanence, right, okay, so I'm really enjoying this box, and can we end with something else, a Polly. Polly's actually quite cool. Um, yes, yeah, it's, it's nice. Still, it's one for the binder. I'd still rather have a, a secret one. Or the, I, the, see the alternative art? The one that was in Fusion Enforcers, I think it was. That was superb. So we've got four more packs. Can we get a third Golden Lord? An Impermanence, another Alistair, or a Stratos? That is what we're after, boys. So bless these pills, please. So I've got Noble Knight Pelinor, Speedroid Takatomborg, Suckle of the Sky King, the eh, Fire King, sorry, Lair of Darkness, Dark Barrier Statue, and Chaos Dragon Levy and Air, the alternative art one. That is quite nice. Does have a quite a nice sweet edging. And then we've got Okigari. Didn't actually know Kigari's alternative that was in it. That's actually super nice and super clean. Yeah, I like that. Um, I've been working on a Sky Striker deck profile as well. So, hopefully, I may actually use that artwork just as a, a one of. Alright, everyone, sorry about that. We just caught the camera actually died. So, we've got Trap Tricks, Melno, Village Burial of Goods. Silent Honor Arc, Call by the Grave, Set Rotation, and Bell Marcher, good reprint, and House Dragon Red. So I've got two more packs. So can we get an Impermanence, um, Stratos, or another Golden Lord? Let's see, what can we get, boys? Actually, let's just put the two of them together. This video is getting quite long. So, I'll just go one, two, there we go. So we've got Dark Lord, Nastine, Coyote, Eero Millions, that's the first one I've actually seen. Oh, is it Eero Millions, a shot print? Uh, Light Barrier Statue, Meltdown, that's the first Meltdown we've seen. Uh, Fire Formation, Kayoko, 
Another destruction sword. Hoop cake. I think that's the first one that we've actually seen. So not too bad. A uh, file one debug. Then we've got a Beatrice. A uh, Lady of the Eternal. Not bad. Infernity. Super Poly. And the original Art Kagari. So all in all, not too bad. Um so yeah, I'll just get a reprint of the highlight ones. Um, the ones that I really wanted. So I've got actually I'll set it all up. Okay everyone, right, so we have one Dark Magician, one Red Eyes, and one Blue Eyes. So really happy with these. This one for me, Sean and Gary, so really happy with that. Uh, another card I wanted was Anti Magic Arrows, only pulled one, so a bit gutted about that. We have the one Elemental Hero Stratos, shout out to Team Tally, uh, or TCG Tally, the hero player. We've got Alistair the Invoker. Shout out to Dark Paladin 19 AJ. Then we've got the one Ash Blossom. We've got Lancia. One the Biru. We've got double Miscellaneous Saurus. Double Golden Lord. Uh, one Burrow Sword Dragon. One Drawing Lock Bird. And one Impermanence. So, do I think I've made my money back? So, I'm currently buying the case £150. Uh, in the hole so here I'll actually put uh, my final total after tallying everything up, thing up so hopefully we're in the black boys but if you've enjoyed this case opening um, and want to see more uh, box openings and stuff like that uh, or any deck profiles you want to see after some of the cards have been pulled please let me know in the comment section down below if you haven't already please subscribe to the channel it really does help out and really does Give me the motivation to do a lot more videos for you. So I'll hopefully see you in the next one. Cheers everybody. Peace.